if you're an analyst or researcher of some sort and you're into time series data um, for describing events in the past or maybe also for um, modeling predictions for the future um, and if you happen to have been looking or um, hearing about um, the programming language R for statistical analysis um, and data science then this video might be of interest to you where I wanted to give a brief introduction to the Fredder package in R and how you can use it to access and uh, analyze um, data from the Federal Reserve. So this is a package that provides you an interface in R um, to access and query data from the Federal Reserve and you can read in this data using that package without having to read in a CSV file and basically you don't have to change um, media um, and can code everything in R without having any transition between between software or having to download the data from a website or anything like that. So it can be pretty convenient um, if you're making some kind of application um, or um, you're having like a, a complex analysis with several sources of data. To be able to use this package, you need to set up an API key um, or get an API key um, from the Federal Reserve. And for this, you need to set up an account. Um, now in the blog post that I link to also in the description of this video, there's a link uh, that you can click and, and there you can set up your account and get the API key. Then in your script, you of course need to install the package. Um, it can be installed directly from C CREN by running this line of code and then you have to import the library uh, by running this line of code. Then in this case I create a variable um, that contains the uh, that contains my API key since I didn't want to show it to you and um, by running the function provided by the fredder package fredder set key I can unkey the um, the package and, and now I will be able to query data from the database provided by the Federal Reserve. The first thing that I'm doing here is that I'm executing the function fredder series search text. It gives me the possibility of specifying some search term and uh, will return me a list with all the uh, search hits. Now this list um, contains a couple of columns. I'm giving you here the column headers. Um, and as you can see, um, in the first column you got a series of IDs. And in addition to that, um, by looking through this list, you will get an idea of um, the time span that this um, data set is covering. So basically every ID is an idea for some kind of data set. Um, available in the database. Um, by looking at some of the other columns you get an idea of what time frame is covered by it and you will also find some descriptions um, of what this database contains and also you will get an idea of for example the units that the data and this data set is measured in. And in this case um, by looking through that list I myself found out that um, the ID um, DAUPSA is of interest to me um, by reading through the search lists um, that was returned by the uh, search function, um, I found that this is car production data from the U.S. and it's seasonally, seasonally adjusted data. Now, seasonally adjusted data is interesting if we want to look over longer time spans and if we're not necessarily interested in seasonal trends, but rather we are interested in long-term long trends throughout several years. So this is why I'm choosing the seasonally adjusted data set. There's also a data set available in, um, in this database with non-seasonally adjusted data. And um, by going through this search list, you will find that the ID for that list would, or for that data set would be um, DAUP and I think NSA. So it's really convenient to read through this search list um, that is returned by the search function. Um, and it gives you a, a very good idea of what kinds of data sets you can access from the database. Now here I'm just running quickly through um, some code um, that if you want you can look through on my blog by, by pressing the, the link in the description of the video. Um, but as you see, I'm basically um, visualizing the data contained in this data set that um, I retrieve from the data set uh, from the database by using this ID key. Um, that I decided I want to use. The function um, that allows me to query the data is the function Fredo series observations. Now there are several functions um, depending on what kind of data you're pulling but in my case I'm using the Fredo series observations data. 
um, or observations function um, to retrieve uh, this um, series that, I, that I'm interested in. And I'm turning this into a data frame that I can plot in ggplot2. And as you can see, um, I get a visualization here of the US car production volume in thousands of vehicles. Um, as I said, this is seasonally adjusted data and it's over a, a rather long time horizon. Um, and you can see there's been quite a um, significant trend in the US um, throughout the years, less and less cars have been produced. Now, of course, around 2009, um, 2008, there has been a huge shock to the market. Um, the market basically dropped. Um, after that, it went up to a pretty high um, level again, but in recent years, it, ha it has been lowering uh, significantly. Um, and by searching through the search list, again, I found also another ID that might be of interest, which was um, this ID key. Um, and this just to give you an example of what kind of data is available in, in this database. Um, now this ID key is an ID key for times uh, a, a data set that contains the, um, the value of imported new car sales also seasonally adjusted in billions of US dollars uh, across years. Now uh, this data is on a quarterly basis where um, this data was on a uh, monthly basis. But also this will be um, summarized to you uh, when you go through this um, search um, search result list that is returned by the Fredo series search text function. And again, I'm just simply using the data set that I'm pulling using the Fred, uh, Fredo series observations function. Um, I'm creating a data frame that is plotable in ggplot2 and um, you get a visualization here of um, the new uh, car sales of imported vehicles in the US on the quarterly level measured in billions of US dollars, um, where on an annual level, this is seasonally adjusted um, data. And you can see in recent years, not only has uh, the production volume um, been uh, going down, but also the uh, car sales of imported vehicles have been going down. So this is just one example of um, how we can describe a a market or some trends by, by pulling and querying data from the Federal Reserve by using this package. I think it's a really interesting package uh, that can be used along, uh, alongside other packages in our querying uh, free and public data.